The differential is a new vocabulary word wrapped around the familiar concept of approximating a function with its tangent line. This figure should look familiar from the previous video on linear approximation. It's the same picture. Suppose we have a differentiable function f of x, and we know the value of f at some x value a. That is, we know the value of f of a. But we don't know the value of f at some nearby x value a plus delta x. That is, we don't know f of a plus delta x. So we draw the tangent line to f of x at x equals a, and we use the tangent line at a plus delta x as an approximation for the function at a plus delta x. Since the tangent line has slope of f prime of a, the rise of a run is f prime of a, so if this run here is delta x, this rise has to be f prime of a times delta x. So the height of the tangent line here at a plus delta x is going to be f of a plus f prime of a times delta x. That's just the height here plus the extra height here. And since we're using that height to approximate our function, we say that f of a plus delta x is approximately equal to f of a plus f prime of a times delta x. Equivalently, if I subtract f of a from both sides, I get f of a plus delta x minus f of a is approximately equal to f prime of a times delta x. This equation is just the approximation principle that we've seen before, and this is a very slight alteration of it. So there's nothing new yet. But now I'm going to wrap some new notation around this familiar concept. The differential dx is another way of writing delta x. You can think of it as a small change in the value of x. The differential df is defined as f prime of x dx, or equivalently, f prime of x delta x. Sometimes this is written as dy instead, but dy just means the same thing here as df. Sometimes it's handy to specify the differential at a particular value of x, like a value of x equals a, and this is written df equals f prime of a dx, or f prime of a delta x. Notice that the value of a is not apparent when you just write down df or dy. Finally, the change in f, which is written delta f, is defined as f of x plus delta x minus f of x for some value of x. For example, f of a plus delta x minus f of a. This can also be written as the change in y. Using these new definitions, we can now rewrite our approximation principle to say delta f is approximately equal to df. The change in the function is approximately equal to the differential. Of course, this could also be written as the change in y is approximately equal to dy. In the picture, we can now write dx for the run and df for the rise of the tangent line. Pause the video and take a moment to find delta f in this picture. Delta f is f of a plus delta x minus f of a. So that's this height here. I'll write that as delta f or delta y. So the approximation principle written in differential notation is just saying that the rise of the function, delta f, is approximated by the rise in the tangent line, df. Let's use the differential in an example. For the function f of x equal to x times ln x, let's first find the differential df. We know that df is equal to f prime of x dx, and f prime of x 
by the product rule is equal to x times the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, plus the derivative of x, which is 1, times ln x. So in other words, 1 plus ln x. Therefore, df is equal to 1 plus ln x times dx. When x equals 2 and delta x equals negative 0.3, well, delta x is the same thing as dx. We can just plug in those values and get df is 1 plus ln of 2 times negative 0 0.3. As a decimal, that's approximately negative 0 0.5079. Now, delta f is defined as f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So for our function, that's x plus delta x times ln of x plus delta x minus x ln x. Plugging in the given values for x and delta x, we get delta f is 2 minus 0 0.3 times ln of 2 minus 0 0.3 minus 2 ln 2, which according to my calculator is negative 0 0.4842. And we see that the change in the function between 2 and 2 minus 0.3 is closely approximated by the change in the tangent line, as expected. The differential is often used to estimate error, as in this example. Suppose that the radius of a sphere is measured as 8 centimeters, with a possible error of 0.5 centimeters. So the sphere that we measure looks something like this, but the actual sphere might be slightly bigger or slightly smaller. We want to use the differential to estimate the resulting error in computing the volume of the sphere. Well, the volume of a sphere is given by 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius. If our radius changes by 0.5 centimeters, our volume will change by substantially more. And that change in volume is the error, the resulting error, in measuring volume. But instead of computing delta v directly, we're asked to approximate it using the differential. So we're going to use the fact that delta v is approximately equal to dv, which is easier to compute. By definition, dv is equal to the derivative of our function. I'll just call that v prime as a function of r times dr. Now, v prime of r is equal to 4 pi r squared, just by taking the derivative. And here, we're interested in an r value of 8 and a value of dr, same as delta r, of 0 0.5 centimeters. So dv is going to be 4 pi r squared dr. And when I plug in r and dr, I get 4 pi times 8 squared times 0 0.5, which is 128 pi, or as a decimal, 402.1 centimeters. That's our error estimate, which seems quite a bit bigger than our original error of 0.5 in measuring the radius. Now, the relative error of a function is its error over the original value of the function. So in our case, it's the change in volume over the actual volume. Since we're using the differential instead, we'll compute the relative error as dv over v. Now the volume, when r is 8 centimeters, is 4 thirds times pi times 8 cubed. And dv, we already saw, was 4 pi times 8 squared times 0 0.5. So dv divided by v is given by this ratio, which simplifies to 0 0.1875, so an 18.75% relative error. To me, the relative error gives a better sense for the error than the absolute error estimate above. This video introduced the idea of the differential. We said that we could think of dx as just being another way of writing delta x, but df 
represents the rise in the tangent line and is equal to f prime of x times dx. Whereas delta f is the rise in the actual function f, and that's f of x plus delta x minus f of x. On the picture, dx is the run, df is the rise in the tangent line, and delta f is the rise in the actual function. In the language of differentials, we can restate the approximation principle to say that the change in f can be approximated by the differential.